Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the class event, so let's go see what we can do. Let's make a team, let's uh, do a no, no, no challenge, and some other stuff. Let's just uh, play the game today. It's Thursday, so I remember earlier this week I said it's Wednesday when it was Tuesday. That was funny. But hey, it got me a comment or two, and yeah. All right, let's go check out. First thing, though, I heard... I heard there's a troop in the Soul Forge. Uh, Leonis Tower. So if you paid for the campaign and you have uh, the Emperor card, you can craft the Leonis Tower. If you also have 50,000 souls and 250 uh, legendary ingots there. Which I do not have the Emperor card because I do not pay for this game at all. I'm, you know, totally free to play, so... But just wanted to let you know that that is there. Somebody in the comments told me, appreciate it. I think it was John Fitzpatrick uh, with a couple, uh, you know, other people in there. But, um, yeah, let's go to do this class event, class trial. Um, what is it, War Priest? War Priest, not that good. It's not terrible, but it's not, it's like below average. Uh, I'm going to do my free battles. And I'll do a no, 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 no mythic, no legendary, no Dawnbringer team at the last, you know, set of enemies. If you want to fast forward. Um, but yeah, going to do my free battles, going to get, you know, the 25 gems here for free battles. And I'll just make whatever team I would normally do, and then we'll do the no, no, no. So let's see what we got to work with here. Uh, what is our restrictions? Leonis Empire, human. So we got Divine Ishbal is pretty good, right? Divine's allies start with 40% mana. I'd probably use her. Emperor Corvash is okay. If, if it's like the only thing you got, it might be worth using. Um, what else do we got? Ooh, this might be a, a rough one here. Create six purple gems boosted by gold stolen. The devoted, not not too bad. <clears throat> and that is it. Wow. What is that? We got 16 troops we can use. That's it. Huh. Uh, can I do Dawnbringer? I'm going to hate that... Uh, this is one day this is going to get boring. I mean, you could switch... You could... uh. Fast forward straight to the no, no, no. Um, I would not, you know, I hope that's not what happens. But a lot of the time on these, you're just going to use the Dawnbringer if you can. And here it is. With all yellow allies. Uh, so we need another yellow ally here. That will help us out. Maybe just another de the Devoted, maybe. Um... So we'll use Divine Ishbala to give us a 40% start. Maybe we'll make our hero Divine. And the Devoted can create 7 gems of a chosen type. Cleanse all allies and give them 44 armor. So what else could we use? We could create 7 red gems. It's not too bad. Red gems. 12. We use is brown. Green. Boosted by my gold. 14 gems. 7 red gems. Cleanse all allies are matching yellow. I don't know. Either Moneylender or Falconer would be, I think, the way to go. Falconer takes less mana and starts battles 50% mana. I think that's the way I'm going to go. Moneylender might be a overall better troop. It'll probably end up creating more red, for sure. But um, the way this is going to go, we're probably not going to use either one of them. So might as well go with the one that has one less mana and starts at 50%. That way there's actually a chance that it'll get used. So yeah, is Moneylender probably better than Falconer? Probably. But in this situation where we're probably not going to use either one of them, we want to go with the 50%. Uh, fast uh, start there. Put that there. 
this is literally here just for one of its traits. And I guess we could go like this. And then we could actually try to get Falconer up. Um, but the Devoted is totally blocked otherwise. So Devoted should probably go there. Because Falconer can always soak up some green. The Devoted cannot. It's got yellow and blue. So it's getting blocked by Dawnbringer. So might as well let it soak up the extra yellow while Falconer takes green and Divinish Bala takes purple. And yeah, make our class Priest, I guess. Because that's Divine. It's at 100, though. What's this considered? A Dwarf. What's War Priest? A human, maybe? I hate how you can't go backwards from the class. Like, I can't go back to the last class. I have to start all the way at the beginning. If I accidentally go back to the beginning, I have to stay there and go... They should let you go back to the last class. Because if you're trying to hit War Priest, which is the very last one, and you accidentally click it one too many times, you have to go all the way back through all of them again. That's just annoying. Human, so... Yeah, never mind. Let's just do Priest to get it... I don't know, though. Like, the only reason I'm using Divine Eshbala is for the 50% start. I could use a class that already has a 50% start, and then not then actually level something up. So I'm going to do that. I would recommend if you do not have your Priest to level 100, go ahead and use it. That way you can use Divine Eshbala the way she's supposed to be used. But for me, I'll probably just use a class that has a 50% start or something that I don't have all the way... I don't even know. I need to, one of these days, I need to go through everything and figure out all the classes that have 50% starts and whatnot. That's all I really care about. Like this one doesn't, I don't think. What's it called anyway when they have a 50% start? There we go. What do you, we'll use Bard. Bard's really good with uh, Dawnbringer anyway. Uh, serendipity. That one doesn't matter. I guess anti-magic sphere. Mana source is the main thing that I want. Um, commander, not too bad. Also, might as well. Let's equip it. Then for our banner, we need a double yellow. Uh, blue would be cool. Double yellow, blue. Don't really want a minus red, though. Hmm. We just need, we need a double yellow something. Double yellow something. Double yellow brown. Double blue yellow minus brown. That'd probably be the way to go. Alright. Let's get this going. What do we got going on tomorrow? The vault event? That's pretty cool. I really need to get my campaign done. This is like my almost, if I don't get it done, I guess it can't be my most slacky week ever for the campaign because I actually got it done on Sunday one week. So as long as I get it done this week, it can't be more slacky. I just haven't been feeling that campaign. Even with the reroll thing, I actually feel smarter than other people this week. If anybody got their campaign done on Monday or Tuesday... If anybody did it that early, then I feel bad for you because the patch came out and now you can re-roll. So you probably did a bunch of campaign tasks that are annoying that you could have just re-rolled. So I feel vindicated that I waited this week. Now that it's Thursday, the patch was yesterday, I can re-roll now. So I think I did the right thing by accident. Um, it's like I knew or something, but I didn't. Uh, I got my Nisha medals on. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, so anybody that got the campaign done on, like, Tuesday, I think that was the earliest you could get it done. That would that would suck, because the patch came in, like, Tuesday night. And if you had got your campaign done on, like, Tuesday morning, like you're supposed to, like you probably, you know, like I would say that you should do, I feel bad for you, because you could have re-rolled, like, a bunch of times, and you now you can't. And the next time you can do it is the last week of the campaign. 
Which, luckily, I waited. I've barely... I've done, like, one campaign task so far. Maybe two. So I get rewarded for my slackerism. Sometimes that happens, though, you know? If you rush outside to fix something, five minutes later, somebody's going to come with an easier, easier way to do it. Sometimes it is better just to sit and wait for the, you know? I don't know how to say it without it sounding crazy. Like, you don't jump on the first opportunity every single time. Make sure you kind of get the lay of the land. I know a lot of people don't like uh, life advice from me, but... It's not always the right answer to hurry up and rush and do everything. Sometimes you want to sit and... Just because you think you're being proactive and, and hustling or whatever you think you're doing. Just because you're waking up at 4 in the morning and rushing out the door. Doesn't mean you're doing it right. You might be missing things that happen a few hours after that. You never know. You think, hey, if I get to this store first, I'm going to get all the best stuff. And what if they don't put out the best stuff until 10 a.m.? You wouldn't even know that because you're too busy trying to be the first guy there. What if you jump on the first car that you see? You need a car. The first one you see for sale, you buy it. That's not smart. That's just doing things to do things. A very, uh, Like a perfect car for you could come a couple days later. But you already bought this piece of junk that you saw and you were just getting it done because you're hustling. You gotta do everything as soon as possible. You kind of just jump out the window about everything. It's a little bit smarter to like wait and see, not rush into everything. You might think you're like early bird gets the worm or rush, you know? That's like an old person thing where you you rush around and get everything done as soon as possible and early. But then you kind of look like a ding-dong when something easier comes through, like an hour later. Or something better comes through, like two days later. Or it's just, a, it doesn't even matter now, like a week later. Like, oh, we gotta hurry up and do this, we gotta hurry up and do this, we gotta hurry up and do this. And then like a week later, they totally change it to where you didn't have to do that at all. Kind of like the campaign task. You could have re-rolled, but you already got it done. That kind of stuff's funny to me. Alright, good old Dawnbringer. If you don't have it, you should get it. And this is why. And I'll keep on showing this is why. But the no, no, no. Also been thinking about playing some other games just here and there, like spot playing, not like starting up a huge um, playthrough or, or anything. But like, you know, getting on the computer, looking up some games, seeing if I could figure out, all right, is this, am I going to have to like emulate or do good old games or Steam? Like, what am I going to have to do? Do I have to buy this? Do I not have to buy it? Is it free, like Oregon Trail, or is it going to cost me a couple bucks? Can I emulate, or do I have to like go on good old games? Like, starting to think about that kind of stuff. Like for whatever, doesn't like one-offs. Like let's play uh, Super Mario Brothers, like we did Oregon Trail, and I'll beat it in like one day and one one sitting, just to have it on the channel. Like that's what I kind of made this channel for, to document. Like, I'm beating Dark Souls, right? I'm beating... I'm getting to level 60 on EverQuest. I'm doing difficult things in games. Whether you guys care or not, it'll still be there. Documented. Like, oh, wow, this guy... Not that anybody would ever say that, but I could say it to myself. Like, I could look back at my own channel like, yeah, I remember I beat Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro... EverQuest, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I got a bunch of characters to max level on Neverwinter. I got to the final 
th campaign on Battle Ages. You know, I beat Oregon Trail on there. I was one of the better Gems of War players. It's kind of just a way to document something that doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of things, but it's better than playing and not documenting it, I guess, and it just all going up in the air like smoke. But it is, you know, something fun to do with your time. I just like to document my stuff. I've, I've been doing that ever since I was a kid. I used to write down every game that I beat when I was a kid, like with my friends. We had this big notebook, and we filled the dang notebook with games that we beat. I don't even remember how many it was. And there was always, I, there wasn't always a witness, like, you could be at home by yourself and say, hey, I beat this game, and then you could write it in the notebook, but you kind of had to explain a little bit. You couldn't just, you know, we kind of trusted each other. It was kind of, we didn't really have to. Like, if you said, hey, I beat this game, then be like, all right, write it down. But most of them, we would, uh, you know, it would be a group, like, watching, like, cheering each other on type thing. So there was witnesses to it. You go rent a game, you beat it in a weekend, and then you return it. I think I was talking about this in one of my live streams, which, hey, 8 a.m. EST, Saturday morning. Live stream. Hopefully it's better than the last one. The last one was kind of grumpy. You know, I think we had, like... I don't remember why it was grumpy. All the PS4 decided not to work correctly. Made me mad before I even got on live. That's why. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully we have our cooling tower before this live stream. Then I can start trying to play Sekiro. I think I'm going to start slow with Sekiro, by the way. So here's some things to look forward to on the channel, right? New account playthrough of Gems of War coming in the next month or two. Sekiro playthrough. Slow playthrough because... I gotta play it like, the first time I record it, I'm gonna record like 15 minutes. Second time, 20 minutes. Third time, 30 minutes. Like, I'm gonna slowly work my way up in that game because the first time was a disaster. I got on live, and it, the PS4 overheated, and the live stream was literally like 25 minutes long. And I had to totally erase it from existence. So we're gonna try to ease our way into the pool dip our toe in hope that the cooling tower helps i think it will help i just don't know if it's going to solve 100 percent solve the issue like i think the cooling tower will buy us if we want to do like an hour live stream on Sekiro. like we probably could do that maybe eventually once i make sure it's helping i think that's like the most i'm hoping for is like hey now we can do like a an hour live stream of Sekiro if we want to. But I can also record like 30 minute increments of it and get it done eventually. That's what I'm hoping with the um, cooling tower thingy. It'll at the very least hopefully buy me some more time. Because I'm still thinking about maybe getting a whatever. A PS4 Pro or a Slim or a PS5 or just another PS4. I'm still I'm not against it. I'm not like I'm try I'm going to try to get something. When people say, "Yeah, it's time to get a new one." Like I know, but like I told you guys, like there we have other th other things that we need to buy first. That's more important to the whole family. And uh, I can't just go out and do that. But I'm hoping the cooling tower like uh, buys the channel sometime. We can play Sekiro. It's just sitting over there doing nothing right now because I'm afraid to play it because I'm afraid it'll overheat the PS4. And I only want to play it on my channel too. I don't want to. I don't want to play it without you guys. Oh, let's see. Did I, I hope I didn't go too far? What do we got? 15 gems. Okay, so we're done with the Dawnbringer. Um, now we'll do our no, no, no to get our last 10 gems. So let's get rid of this team. And, um, what would we use for 
We got a human monster, divine human. All right, so I cannot. Let's do let's do that first. This is the no no no. So no mythic, no legendary, no Dawnbringer team for people that have you know you can plug in if you want a legendary plug in a mythic if you want plug in dawnbringer if you want but for people that do not have mythics and legendaries and dawnbringer this team's for you and it's kind of fun for everyone else because it makes it harder but i cannot use voice of orpheus i cannot use divine ishbala that's probably the one that's going to hurt the most along with dawnbringer cannot use emperor corvash cannot use king of thieves Cannot use Regent Khalif, but I can use General Saladin. Saladin. Um, he's just in Tower Troop. Probably don't want to use him. 33 life and 5 attack to an ally. If the ally is human, give double the effect. We could make our... We could use, like, Mang or something. And, or Rope Dart. And also use this guy. Make our and make our, ourselves human. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to level him up, upgrade him, and stuff. Oh wow! I could probably use a uh, orange on this guy. Look at how many I got. 115. Fine, let's do it. I don't even know if I'm gonna use him, but. Let's throw him over there. Tomb Robber. Create six skulls boosted by my gold up to a maximum of 14 skulls. Maybe. 100. Hunter's Mark and seven red gems. I'm thinking about using Rope Dart. So I don't need that, I don't think. Purple gems... Stun the enemy. Maybe the devoted still. Okay. And then... We just had rope dart. If you did not get rope dart, then you're a crazy lunatic. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use it. You could also use a mang, though. Or earth's fury. Or, or trickster shot. I should probably use Trickster Shot, but I don't know what I'm thinking. Rope Dart. Too bad that's exactly the same as the Devoted. Hmm, what was I thinking here? Five attack, 47 life. Skulls. Yeah, let's do let's do Mang. I think that would be fine. Mang there. I like this order. Let's try this team for the no, no, no. Now we got to make ourselves um, human so we can get double this effect, I guess. Maybe we do War Priest. That way you guys can get double the experience. Can we establish that this is human? Okay, cool. What do we got? Traits. Stun a random enemy. 40% uh, armor. That's good. Ferocity. Uh, one of these two. I'll just keep lean, leading light. Brilliant aura. Do we need a light storm? We do have a yellow troop. Guess that wouldn't hurt. Sure, whatever. And our banner. Look how much blue we got. Double blue red. Minus green. Okay, sunken banner. Let's try this. I don't know. It's a no, no, no. That's why we get some weird teams sometimes. Could you figure out something better? Probably, maybe. You could do something with, like, three devoteds and, and a, a certain weapon, maybe. You know? 
But hey, we like to try, try stuff, try different things. Oh, we got our plus 10. This, supposedly, this does 10 extra damage and extra bigger explosions. All right, we got the Devoted. Seven gems of a chosen type. So our Mang uses red and brown. So we got nine red or seven brown. So we're going to do... We could do blue or purple, though. Like, if we did purple, we could get up this guy. This chick. But, um... She goes based off gold. We only got 24 gold right now. I think I'm just going to do red. And hope. Didn't happen, but hey, there's more red on the board now. That's that's always good. Um, Watch me finally lose. Uh, I'm going to use brown. Try to do brown into red. Did not work. Um, purple extra turn. Grab this red. Uh, yeah, I guess. Ouch. Okay, we got Mang. That's good. All right, we got this plus 10 skull, too. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh, it doesn't matter, because the guy's going to die either way. But did extra explosion. But, ooh, we just got hit by one. All right, Mang is going to strip armor and add it to its attack. So let's attack uh, the Vow Raven. Get rid of that. Make sure it dies. Even though we don't really need it. Um... Our banner uses uh, blue and red, so I should probably be taking blue and red more often than brown. And, uh... Let's try yellow into purple. Nope. Blue. Everybody got up there. So what would be our order? We could do this guy and get... Do it like that. And then we could do... This. Now this. Yeah, it is what it is. I don't know. Rope dart would be cool. Trickster shot. Earth's fury. And then there's probably some other things you could do. Like, uh, black manacles, maybe. I don't know if that to here is actually gonna help as much as I thought. Or the tomb robber. This is mostly, like, the devoted and, uh, mang team. Let's take red. Red and blue, that's our banner. Uh, yellow extra turn. Might as well get devoted up now. What do we got? 12 blue. Let's do blue. Got that extra turn. Nice. Um... Sure. Got that guy. Now we got our brown. Extra turn. Let's do this. We get double the effect because we are a human. The battles might not go quickly or anything, but I think it'll be fine and like win them. That's the whole point. Should have took red, I guess. Now what? Oh, there's blue. And we got skulls out of it. And we got another one of these. More attack and more health. Got Mang. Let's take these extra turns first, though. And... We'll cast Mang. We'll strip their armor, gain it as attack. Give them an extra turn. Red and blue is our banner. Let's take yellow, get devoted. We should get skulls here. Yellow extra turn, though. Uh, let's take the skull with the doom skull to, make, to do more damage, even though it doesn't matter, but we get an explosion, we get some mana back. Cast this guy. Look at all that attack and all that health. Like, our hero is getting real beefy. Let's 
get rid of some of this green that we don't need. Let's take these skulls to get a kill. And another one. So maybe cast that Tomb Robber a little bit once you uh, build up your hero like that. Like I should have probably been uh, casting that Tomb Robber at the end there since I had so much health and attack. I would have put some skulls on the board and made the battle go a little bit faster maybe. That's the thing about these no-no-nos. You don't, like by the time we're done, that's when I'm just getting used to it. Ooh, let's use it. Boom. Uh, let's make sure we don't have an extra turn. Sometimes you got to be patient, like I was saying earlier in the video. If I rush in there and get this red, it might not. There might be an extra turn up in the corner that you didn't see. Uh, red or brown? Let's do red. We got our banners better. Goes better with red. Okay, Mang. Usually want to go from the top down with Mang. I guess we'll do that. Because you're going to start hitting the top troop with skulls and knock their armor off. So you might as well use it while you can type deal. Get the kill. Secure the kill. Yeah, what do you guys think about fatalities in Gems of War? This little colorful cartoon game with some uh, heads getting ripped off. Or whatever. Just need skulls and you win, pretty much. After a while. Two more to go. The fastest battles ever? No, but I think you could get it done. That's the whole point. If you're a low-level player trying to complete this event, don't expect to get it done quickly. If you're expecting to get it done quickly, then you're barking up the wrong tree. Red into skulls. See there, I knocked some armor off, so that's less attack for me later. But it is what it is. Uh... What was I thinking? Let's do this. A lot of health, a lot of attack. Red or brown right now would be the way to go. But of course not. Let's take it like this. Now we got some skulls. Let's take yellow into skulls unless there's an extra turn somewhere. Get that devoted up. We got 11 blue or 11 red or 11 yellow or 11 brown. So whichever one that they're more clustered kind of is what you want to do. Um, they're all kind of the same. So I think I'm going to do... I think we got double blue, right? I think... Nah, I better do red. We want the mang. Uh, let's do this first. Get attack and start working our way down. The first guy didn't have that much value. He, he probably would have died. He would have got the kill. But the value for like st the stripping of the armor wasn't there. Uh, Yeah, let's take yellow. Get the devoted up. Might as well. 13 red. Let's do it. Extra turn, baby. Mang's up again. If you don't have Mang, then you're crazy early in the game. Because Mang is from Weapon Mastery. And you can accidentally get Mang by, like, level 400, probably. One shotty on the potty. probably be taking red and blue and not brown. I'm just so used to taking brown from using like Titan and whatnot and rock solid. Boom. Another one shot. I think the same thing would happen if you're using rope dart or uh, trickster shot. It would be the same kind of team, same kind of battles here. Take skulls and knock off his armor? I guess. Because then we got the kill. Um, red and blue. There's blue. But there's skulls. We already have 77 attack. 
The big old green. Gave us some brown too. I wonder what determines when these things fall, like... I think it's just RNG, right? Devoted's up. Devoted also gives armor... All to all of our troops. Um, blue. Sure, blue. Didn't get any matches there, but it's okay. We all got armor, so it did something. Even, even when it misses, it does something. we go uh, whatever I think we're gonna win no matter what here it's just like how long is it gonna take they're like annoying annoyingly making the battle take longer but yeah, I was thinking about playing game like uh, Super Mario Brothers or something, and like one, like one, one shot games that I could add in to get to my 40th video of the month type stuff, if I wanted to. So I'm trying to do 40 videos a month right now. I don't know why I came up with that number. It's just, you know, instead of doing some, some, sometimes there's 31 days in the month, so I do at least 31. I just thought that would be the next round number that I could try to hit be 40. I guess I could have done 35 first, but I don't know. 40 sounded better, so I did 40. So that's what I'm trying to do. Give yourself a goal and get it. Keep building up there until it's an, uh, an impressive goal. Like one day, maybe I'll be doing 60 videos a month. But if I start there, then I'm just going to fail. So you got to kind of work your way up make a smaller goal a habit and then work your way up don't start with a huge goal that you're never going to do and then fail and then just not do anything kind of work your way up do one push-up a day and then two and then three and then four and people will laugh at you for doing one push-up a day but you'll laugh at them when you're doing a hundred a day because you started with one a day but yeah that's it so i got my 20 gems 25 gems whatever it is and that was the no, no, no. So, yeah, that's what I would do today. Dawnbringer, if you got it. If not, Divinish Bala's good. Um, what else? Uh, Emperor Corvash is okay. Um, but, yeah, if you don't have any of that, then Mang, Trickster Shot, Rope, Dart, Earth's Fury uh, with Divinish Bala, if you can. If not, then what I did there for the no, no, no would be okay. Um, maybe three... Um, What's her faces? Devoted, three devoted with like a, a, a black manacles or something. Like you'll figure it out. It's not that hard, and that's why I do the no, no, no. So you have something if you have nothing else. But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Vault is tomorrow, so I'll see you guys there. Uh, comment below. Tell your good about the channel, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.